Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I don't know about you, but if you were like many of the people here, well, actually, around the world, you might have been watching the closing ceremonies for the Olympics. It was, to me, it was like watching a huge, an extended Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show. But you know what? It, of course, with any show and lots of opinions around the world, it never goes off without controversy. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. As for the closing ceremonies <laughs> for okay. the Olympics. What in the world was Russell Brand doing there? I figured it was because he was British. Uh, yeah, well, there was a lot of British people that got left out, which are very unhappy. You know, they, they could have picked a lot bad. I mean, they could have picked a good actor and a good singer. Actually, you know, who would have been perfect? Anybody from Monty Python would have been perfect to do the Willy Wonka thing. And then to go in. Oh, they would have, huh? Uh, how, did, how in the world did they. Doesn't Johnny Depp have a place over in England? Uh, Johnny Depp is not English. He's oh. American. But no, there was God awful. You talk about the English people, Englishmen that they have that are immensely. If they could have done Graham Norton, for instance, who's politically correct. He's gay, he sings, he dances, he's a comedian, he's funny. All of these things that he, they could have done. So they pick Russell Brand, who basically even works for the wrong network. He works for Fox in this country, which basically, you know... Well, I don't think they were de deciding who worked for who when they picked it, because there were oh, different people producing it. No, if, it, if they basically, a lot of people were not there because they worked for other networks, even in England. Oh, really? So, yeah, it was, yeah, and finally they bring Ryan Seacrest on last night. I'm going... He's been there every night. What? He does, he's been doing the celebrity stuff. Oh, well, like apparently after, it wasn't when I was paying attention I think, but what happens is because there's such a god-awful time difference, he's been doing his celebrity interviews and they've been coming up. Uh, okay, let's put it this way. I get my information on what happened the next day from NBC. Right. Which really is irrelevant to the universe. The whole next day NBC sends me, and this is what happened yesterday. I think people want to know what happened today. Today. Yeah. Like right after yeah. it happened. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, this time it's a general consensus that, you know, that naming Paul Ryan was the worst possible thing that you could do because people are, the undecided and the independents are not going to support Ryan, which basically ended any chances for the, uh, the presidency for Romney. Okay, Ryan wouldn't be on the ticket if they thought there was a chance at a presidency for Romney. Ryan, they wanted to run for president to begin with. Only the party leaders wanted Romney because Romney knows how to raise money. But that, he's totally, I mean, Romney wanted to pick somebody like Tim Pawlenty or Ron Johnson, I think it was, or Portman, who are more bland than he was. And basically, they, they said they have a charisma of a noodle that's been left over for a week. And not a one of them is willing to stand up and defend anything. Mm. And Syrian troops push back rebels in Aleppo offensive. Oh yeah, but don't worry, the rebels are getting strong hold in part of Syria now. No, they're not. Okay, if the okay, if anybody thought that the rebels were going to lose, there'd be a bigger push by the United Nations to do something. But since they're being supplied by the Russians and the Chinese and the Iranians, it's not likely the rebel. And on top of that, these people are Al Qaeda, who all of these people dislike. So you're not gonna. They're not going to let them win. And Palin won't speak at the GOP convention. I know. Isn't that amazing that they didn't invite her, which was not a smart thing to do because she can. She is the particular leader of the Tea Party. It, it's like, what in the world? They just pissed off the women in the party. They pissed off the Tea Party. And they said they, they may have to make some uh, corrections. They did invite Donald Trump, though. He has no fan base whatsoever and no clout to do something very important at the event. I have a feeling they didn't, you know, I have a feeling they didn't invite Sarah Palin because they were afraid that somebody might nominate her and she might get the nomination. Yeah, they can do that from the floor for vice president uh -huh. folks. Are they actually, the unique thing about the Republican Party is, well, well basically. Hey, maybe you know, a Paul Ryan, Sarah it, Palin ticket. Here's what happens during the nomination procedure, which they, okay, we put it uh, today because of exhaustion. Mitt Romney is taking time off, which basically what you want to do is say a guy in his uh, 60s going on 70s has worn out. No, he basically is uh, 
They picked Ryan because the party for, he was forced to by the party faithful and the, and the and the Tea Party because he's got he has no he, he has nothing. Nobody wants to. Romney to run for president except the people at the top of the party. They're basically, what happens is they're once again telling Romney today the same thing that forced him to pick Ryan was, uh, Alabama, we pass. Colorado, we pass. Washington, we pass. Mm -hmm. And then 20th time, Alabama, we pass. Colorado, we pass. And they basically can uh, eliminate Romney by the we are in an impasse. We, we call an impasse that is voting. Uh, will somebody put another name in denomination? Paul Ryan, Alabama supports Paul Ryan. Colorado supports Paul Ryan. Washington supports Paul Ryan. And that's how you get rid of the nominee in the Republican Party. In, in the Democratic Party, you are totally committed to vote for the thing. Republicans have a thing. They can just pass on the vote. All of them pass. And then you get rid of the candidate. Mm. And shootings all over the USA follow demands by Obama and the left for more gun control. I love that. It just I, I okay. I, I, I try. I actually like Lorenzo Lamas. I've met Lorenzo Lamas, but the, the you know, and I met his father. I mean, I, I actually sang in the background in some of his movies. But uh, anybody ever watch you know, uh, you know, Naughty Marietta? I actually they, they used to remake. Uh, they, you know how they used to remake Jeanette McDonald Nelson Eddy movies, and Fernando Lamas would do the good-looking Frenchman or something like that. But uh, but basically, coincidence only happens in bad Lorenzo Lamas sci-fi movies, and he's the coincidence. Uh, those movies have been so bad, he's not even making them anymore. Mm -hmm. And GOP hits Obama on lobbyist meetings at Caribou. Okay. Everybody knows that Rex worships, the, like Bill O'Reilly worships the ground the president walks on. And he, Rex will tell you nothing wrong was going on at these secret meetings. Just the fact that they called him out of the White House and his advisors were all there talking about fundraising, which they're not supposed to legally do with super, with super PAC people. Doesn't mean they did anything wrong. Then, mm -hmm. okay. Then why did they hide what they were doing? They got caught. It's called. We live in a world where they have cell phones, and they capture you and your people walking into a restaurant, especially when you come in with twenty thousand Secret Service agents and a contingent of black limos. Yeah, like you don't think they'll notice. They don't They've already them. checked out the place beforehand. Oh, anyway. I mean, okay. We're going to do this. The President of the United States never never realized that in 2008 he said that when you can't run on your record take whatever the littlest thing that another person has said or done and you make that the uh, the basis for holding the election mm -hmm. but I Obama, okay, I never said such a such thing Republicans are scandalizing me but mr. president it's on YouTube and has been there for four years <laughs> yeah, so. No. Obama defends American patriot um, Huma Abedin. Okay, she's Muslim, and basically the problem is the Republicans are saying she's actually she's basically a, a, a Muslim. Uh, you know, even though okay, well, Obama, she can't possibly be a Muslim extremist. She's a woman, and in Muslim countries, we know that. I mean, basically, like, Muslim countries, we don't they don't allow women to do this. Well, but this is not a Muslim country. This is the United States. And a Muslim woman can be a piss at over here, where over there they basically toss her in a jail cell or they stone her to death. Mm -hmm. Does Olympics NBC failure herald a media apocalypse? Oh, God, because it was such a... They, okay, they basically had to piss off the fans twice more last night. Um, anybody actually see the Who perform last night? You know, if you stayed up till 3.30 in the morning, you Hey, I might it. have it because I recorded it because I forgot to record it the first time. Yeah. So it might actually be on my recording. Did anybody see the opening of the Olympic ceremonies? No, because oh, they were running. I didn't. They were running. They were running all those, like... They were running interviews that they had did. I... Uh, okay, what you did get to see was... Uh, the the middle... You didn't get to see the first, didn't get to see the last, but you got to see the middle segment, which had the Spice Girls. Ooh. Of which Victoria Beckham upstaged everybody because uh, you did notice that Victoria Beckham had put on a couple of pounds. She so did. Not anymore. She looks healthy. And uh, she looked healthy. So did all the Spice Girls look healthy. 
uh, she wore a dress with a flowing train so when that uh, when she was on top of the car the train would fly up and uh, even though she was showing no more leg than anyone else the fact that the dress per the train was flying up in the air made her look it draws her attention yeah yep and Dave well that's because she's married to Beckham and she was somewhat pissed she's they said that Victoria Beckham basically looked bored at the whole thing, which is why the Spice Girls haven't performed lately. No, they said she just always looks like that. She's English, and that's she's all. She's always it's the look. I know. Right? That. She's got this, you know. I really don't give a damn. I'm I'm married to a guy that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, and I could care less. Oh, maybe that's why the reality show didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, David. Yeah, they were doing a reality show. It was basically Dave, tanked. David Rakoff acclaims humorous dies at 47. I know. It basically, um, a lot of people are dying much younger today from uh, from diseases they're getting. It. So, I know. It's a, it seems kind of strange. I know. So what for having ungodly, all, okay, all the money in the world can't save people's lives anymore because they're getting things that medicine has no control over nowadays. And wife was tired of Peterson, sister testifies. Yeah, I, you know, so they don't have to. They don't. And a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, when the minority tells the majority what the majority can and cannot do, soon the minority will not be able to tell anyone what they can and cannot do.